Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Another episode of Shit's Creek here yeah. for you. Yeah. Kevin here. I'm Joe. We are very excited to be back. We're moving about halfway, getting to about the halfway point of season two yeah. on the show. It's flying by. A way different vibe. Yeah. Oh, on. yeah. It, we're getting a lot more character growth and development this season. It's still hilarious. Yeah. Better production work. We're... we're uh, we're in, we're in it, man. Like we're learning more about these people and who they really are. Yeah, like, absolutely. As, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to spoil anything, but I do want to say I was sending somebody a, a just a, a, a gif from Shit's Creek because they were so excited about our videos. A friend of mine. The gifs are funny. And when I was going through the gifs, I saw Ted, a gif with Ted in a different different clothes. I'm like. <laughs> Ted's going to come back at some point. I figured, right? I mean, like, I'm, I'm desperately wanting that. I really like Ted. I really want to see him back. Well, you know, sitcoms that involve like small towns. Yeah. You want to save those characters. Of course. You know, if it's a small town and a small community and you already ha only have so many characters on the show, you don't right. want to get rid of them. Well, and he, and he had a multiple episode arc and was a really interesting and likable guy. So <laughs> Excuse me. I definitely don't want to be done with him. No, and Ted's, Ted, Ted's a nice guy. Ted's a great guy. I don't want to see him turn heel or anything, but I just want to see what's up with him. You know, right, right, right. This is going. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think they would do that. Yeah. And, and they don't seem to be doing it to anybody on the show. I did see that Bob's name is in the title of this episode. <laughs> and <laughs> a lot of the people who watch can't stand Bob. And I understand why. Because he's the worst. He just like he's the closest to an antagonist. We have. He is. He is in a lot of ways. Bob is the worst. You know what I mean? If yeah. I was going to hang out with anybody in the town, would I would be partying with Roland every day before. I, I was hang just going to say, yeah, I right. would definitely hang out with Roland. I would hang out with Roland. I would. I would hang out with his son. But I. But uh, my God, I think Bob is the one guy. He he cracked one. He's killing it on the show. He cracks me up. I love seeing him on the show. But I couldn't be in a room with that guy for ten minutes. No, I'd shoot myself. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the character growth is so great on this show. It really um, is. What exciting thing before we get going? We uh we did it, guys. We so, we finally hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. And uh if you don't mind us saying so, we're pretty darn proud of that. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We got a couple uh, uh couple of champ the champagne of beer. Miller that's High right, a little more highlight. Uh and again, uh, we mentioned this because we just did a West Wing, mentioned you also. Um if you knew what time of the morning we're filming, this would look a lot less cool. Yeah, this is not a common thing. <laughs> this is not a common thing for us to, to but, do this. But we're enjoying a few highlights mm, this. And this, this is, is not this is not an Avery right? right. This is <laughs> this, this is the burger scene in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> This <laughs> is a tasty beverage. It is. We're picking <laughs> way too early for me. If they are uh, good enough for Ron Burgundy, good enough for me. Exactly. I just love that scene of uh, you know Will Ferrell and Anchorman being like, "Boy, that escalated quickly." That escalated yeah. quickly. <laughs> just having the Miller highlight in his office. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, thank you so much, guys. We really do appreciate. It. We obviously don't want to stop here, so if you're not subscribed, please do so. Please, please. But please. I know a thousand is not a lot in the grand scheme of the YouTube universe. It's but a big deal. It's for a big us. deal yeah. for us. We, we, were we stoked about. We, this. we are, and and we also that means we're watching the right shows. You know, we're watching yeah. these shows. We're loving these shows, and the fact that, that clearly that these shows have other people who are as passionate as we are really makes it a lot of fun to watch them. Yeah, the fact it's, that they're resonating with you guys. Yeah, exactly. It's it's, it's so much cooler to be watching them with a the community than just by yourself. Yeah, really, uh, of people that really like these shows. There's so the thank you, guys. There's one for us and, and one for them. Yeah, this is, it, there's it really doesn't exist here. We're, yeah, we're enjoying everything. We're everything doing. together, absolutely. We're great that you guys. Uh, on that note, we do want to welcome some more Patreon subscribers from we over do. the weekend. Uh, it's, uh, so if the names I butcher, please forgive me. Nicole Bissonette. It's a great name. Brian Harris, Incoate, Monty, Josephine, Skinny Obelix, Chris, Lisa W, Kayla Monsanto, Brianna J, Ray Mortensen, Roy, sorry, Roy Mortensen, and Violet Aurora. Thank you so much you and so welcome. Much, we super appreciate it. Uh, truly. Like our Patreon page, th there's something to it then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not complete morons. <laughs> no. And uh, so we, we mentioned every, every, every single episode, if you want to see the full length reaction to this video, click the link down below on Patreon. The full episode's there. The one uh, catch to it is, though, you have to bring your own copy. We're right. watching this on Hulu. There right. are there is ads. So yeah, you yeah. Have to skip through it. Yeah, you have to watch. Yeah, you have to watch along with this uh, yeah. on Patreon. So you'll need your own source material. Yeah. Like Joe mentioned, this one's Hulu. If you have um, the DVDs, even better. But like I right. said, we're, we're, we have ads. I think Kevin ed Kevin edits the ads. I edit the up. ads out on both YouTube and Patreon, but. If you're, if you're watching, watching on, on YouTube, or, I mean on Hulu and pay, yeah, but if you're watching on Hulu, you're gonna have the ads too, so you're gonna have to kind of skip through the ads as we do, unless uh, you pay for the good Hulu. Yeah, yeah let's pay for the good Hulu, which <laughs> makes you better than me. Uh, uh, but uh, anything I, else? I, I think that's it. Yeah, man, I think yeah. we've I think we've talked your ears off enough, guys. Let us get into the very exciting next episode of Shit's Creek. Yeah, David. Do you like this sweater? Jared Leto gave it to me, and I've always been on the fence about it. Oh <laughs> I don't know. That's a I poncho. Like it. It's a poncho. Gave it to you and it was my first kiss, but I don't know if I like Oh my it. god. I just like it, like it. Is that a shot at Jay Leto dating girls that are too young? That, that, was, that was a thing. Yeah. 
I knew this day would come, John. You notice the season there weren't a lot of black and white, a lot of the characters. Yeah, have yeah. I only prayed it wouldn't be Alexis. We love you, Alexis. Don't we? We love you, Don't Alexis. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like those submarine movies where you lock up the door and they drown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going down with you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is a poncho. Like yeah, straight up. It's a poncho sorry. for sure. Not stressy. stressy. I just yeah. want to make a, a lasting impression. So on who? It's a job interview. The world. Oh. For a brand manager position. It's like a poncho. Yes. Thank you. Thank it you. Is a poncho. It's a poncho. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh, to be a fly on the wall for this conversation. You're sitting oh, right here. In the room. Yeah. <laughs> you know, John Lots of quiet planning. Jerry treats himself to a muffin or two, but uh, I get that that's all part of the planning. Right, Johnny? I would be irritated with these guys. Like, yeah, what do you care how many muffins? Why are you, yeah. why are you crapping on me? Do you want a muffin? Yeah. Oh, I love a good bagel, Johnny. You, you think that idea really has legs? No, oh, it's just... Just an example, Bob. Honey, uh, instead of the license fee, I'll just take a bite of your muffin. Oh, no! No! no. Uh, you know, I would hate that. For me, don't touch my food. Don't touch I my food. I hate when people touch my thing. Yeah. It. Has it gotten worse, or are you just not wearing any makeup? You're freaking oh. out. It's not helping anything. Do I have a fever, though? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not a nurse, <laughs> though I played one once in a lovely little production of Harvey. But she works <laughs> in a mental institute. That's it. It is a blast bar. Yeah. By how upscale the boutique is. There is a solid chance I may have insulted the owner. Yeah, Definitely. really solid. Sound like something you do? She has very questionable <laughs> taste, so there's She's no point. Of course, we're skanky. <laughs> Start the car. I didn't drive all the way out here for you not to do this. You know, Johnny. I love his run. <laughs> his arms kind of. His arms kind of. <laughs> you would certainly know how to make them the real way <laughs> because you're uh... Jewish. Is that what he's going for? Jewish? I didn't know if I could say it. <laughs> oh, you can't God. say it. Boy, it feels like a swear. What's the one uh, you can't say? Okay. You know, oh my God. A lot of work to do, Bob. Yeah. Why you'd want to work in a store you described as skanky? I don't know if we need to keep saying the word skanky. Uh, uh. You think I need your help? Why, I am answering an ad in the paper. Well, David, I'm looking for a partner. I'll need to see you on the floor working with customers. Ivan would like to help with the uh, bagel idea, but uh, do you know how much a bagel oven costs? And Ivan here, he's willing to do it for free. You said you started Rose Video with 2,000 bucks. Is he gonna give him $2,000? Is Bob loaded? Yeah, Bob's got it. I mean, he has his own garage. He can't be doing terrible. His own cabin out there, yeah. You know, in France, they say the, the looser the fit, the sexier the feel. So. I've never been to France. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to help me out by looking like you're enjoying this conversation a little more than you are. What about this? Well, that's not an option. That, no. But I have my sister's <laughs> communion this weekend. <laughs> this is also going to be a smash at my husband's trial hearing. <laughs> <laughs> The woman at the general store said that a girl in Elmdale recently contracted avian flu, so I got to agree. Avian flu. Sure, this isn't just mono again. What with your symptoms and your lifestyle? <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is going on, Alexis? I'm feeling something. It's back of the chair. I offended you in some way, Johnny? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, right. I assumed I would be consulted before we made any major decisions about the bagel business. Oh my Decision. god. There is no bagel business. It's like, it's okay, it was just a stupid <laughs> idea I made up. Town this small, and I was I was you know putting a lot of pressure on myself. Started rambling about bagels this morning. The brain trust. Oh my God, Bob, stop it! He comes out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> every time. Do it, but uh, Bob's bagels. Uh, of course. But Ivan's about to hand in his notice down at the quarry, and oh my uh, God! I gave you that check. You took money from Bob? Why didn't you come to me? You would have given me money? No, of course not, but as you <laughs> Next time, uh, I should probably see a business plan so I, I don't invest so much in another uh, hollow scheme. You guys are gonna love it. It's the same one we use to celebrate my mom's divorces. Divorces. <laughs> yeah, I didn't catch that, that's funny, divorces. 
Well, I guess you're buying drinks tonight. Yeah. I can do that, that's fair. If I feel like dessert. It's a $12 negligee on a two for one promotion. Uh. Drop a little raisin in here to release the bubbles. Ooh, that's what? That's necessary. Okay. To your first job. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could not drink it with a raisin yeah, yeah, floating in it. Yeah, ugh. I like raisins, but that's just a little not, weird. A, not a, there should not be a raisin in champagne. No. Right? <laughs> I, I'm sorry I had a daughter. Is that the story? The vivacious daytime Emmy nominee was surprised by how taken she was with this unanticipated daughter. Oh, okay. It's a nice story then. Yeah. Just like your mother. Should have thrown that in there. Yeah. <laughs> I would let him sleep. I can't have someone sleep in my arm like that either. I hate it. Yeah. Like, like, you know, with your spouse or significant other, like, you're, like, laying there. It's just your arm goes numb. I, I've been single too much in my life that when I when I do have a girlfriend, like, sleepover, it's kind of like, can you not touch me that much? I try to be, like, polite about it and just, like, slip it out when they're asleep. But it's right. like, a little bit like 127 hours. For right, arm. Exactly. <laughs> like I can't stuck. feel my thumbs. I hate yeah. it so much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as always, great episode. Uh, Moira becoming a mom. Yeah, I really, I thought that so was really nice. sweet, actually. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was really nice how they In the most Moira way possible. Right. Yeah. To, where, to where, like, she's almost disappointed in herself that it's happening. <laughs> of course. <laughs> David gets a job, which, uh, halfway through season two. You know what? About the, do. You know, I, for I, a job. I don't know the character name, the woman that owns the blouse barn, I but she's hilarious. hilarious. I, I I hope that this that their dynamic is in this show a lot. Skanky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's a lot of fun. Uh, no, this this... Again, like with so much of the second season, it's really setting up stuff for down the road yeah. in, in, in a really creative and a good way. I kind of thought they were going to do the bagel thing, honestly. I mean, yeah. Like, Johnny is looking for an idea. It's not a terrible idea. I mean, if it's not feasible, no. it's not feasible. But like, but he's I, got nothing. You know? I, I really respect the fact that he owned up to the fact that he's not a businessman right now, that he de that he doesn't have anything. You Lots know what I mean? Stuff. Yeah. He's been rich for, he's been, he's been rich and complacent for too long. He had everything. Well, yeah. Remember, the whole first season is like, we're getting out of this. I'm bouncing back. Right now, we're bouncing back. And he's finally acknowledging, I don't have a bounce back plan. I don't got it. And I, and I, yeah. right. And I think that's, that's really good for him. I feel like the growth in this episode really was the two parents. Yeah. He's going to have to define something that's going to be relevant to the town he's in. I have no idea what that would be. But. Uh, I mean, Eldale's got the bagel shop. So, right. I mean, cross that off the list. I mean, we'll, we'll, that's a great point. What would it be? Right. I, this one restaurant, right? <laughs> so, I mean, right. But restaurants are a yeah, tough sell you, you for lose a business. A lot of money yeah. For restaurants. So. Um. So yeah, for, from starting off with no money, I think a restaurant's not is a non-starter. But there's going to be something. I, my my prediction for the show with how the show unwinds as it gets to the end is that he comes up with something. Yeah, he's got. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, there's a chance the show ends with him just being happy in Shit's Creek. But I would like that. I I feel like well, but I mean, he's got to do something beyond just. I'm unemployed. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something's got it. He does maybe he doesn't have a billion dollar idea again, right? Maybe they stay in Shit's Creek, but he's gonna do something. Yeah. To There's, where right. The thing with the thing with like shows and, and like movies like this where it's like the fish out of water in the right. town, they, yeah. they, and like the town wears down on them and they like, you know, become one of the one yeah. part of the community. Which they, it looks like they're starting to do. You always feel so sad at the end of the movie because they're like, Oh, we're gonna leave now. And they end up staying. Yeah. I can see them staying. I, I can know. too. We're, we're, I can we're, we're jumping ahead, obviously, but I mean, we're jumping ahead by a couple seasons, but yeah. I'm just curious to see what happens, you know? Yeah. Like, I just, I want to see the road there. And, right. Uh, I, yeah, it's all the journey, but I got to tell you, I have no idea how you wrap up a show like this. And also, Stevie and uh, David, like, they still have that great chemistry. Yeah, they're great. Their, their friendship is so great. There's a little bit of a contention on, uh, on Stevie's part still. She's right. still obviously quite hurt, but she's still there for David, and I like that a lot. Maybe. I think you're right. I think she's still hurt, but I think that's also her personality. She's like, letting it go. Right. But I, but I also think, you know, like, she was, so, I mean, she's jaded and sarcastic anyway. Do you think that they hook up again? Do you think that's, that ship has sailed? I, I, don't, I wouldn't like it if they hooked up again. I don't know if they will, but I wouldn't like it if they did. <clears throat> I'll, I'll say this. If they do, I want them to be together. Right, yeah, exactly. I don't I don't want an on again, off again sexual no, thing uh, with uh, those two. That'd be weird. It'd be weird. And I just think I think I just love Miss maybe I'm being selfish, but I love Miss Friends so much that I don't want to see that. I don't want to like have it ruined. I don't either. You know? So yeah. I, 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 I get it. exactly I, I see where you're coming from on that one. So But anyways, guys, as always, great episode. Yeah, this show is perfect. And thank you guys for being here. Uh truly a thousand. Thank you for that. Yes. Thank Cheers, you so much, friends. guys. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.